All right, thanks for joining us today. We're at Apple Valley Orchard, and we have Chuck McSpadden with us, the owner and operator, and uh, today we're gonna show you uh, about pruning an apple tree. This is a dwarf tree, and as you can see, with the root stock that this tree's on, and we won't get into root stocks, but basically what the root stock does is control the growth of the tree. And one thing about dwarf trees is they, if the, the root stock is so fragile that the root system is not as extensive enough to hold the tree, so therefore we have to use some support of some sort. And Chuck's got this one supported really, really well. One thing that you look for in pruning a tree is, is limbs down at the bottom that are large enough to handle the fruit load. And Chuck's done a very good job of, of getting limbs out away from this, out growing on this tree to where they can, can handle some fruit. What we're gonna do is kinda go through and tell you what you need to cut off and, and what you can leave to produce fruit. One thing we wanna do is is find the water sprouts that's on this tree. What water sprouts are, are normally stems that grew last year and they grow straight up. They're not going to be very productive even if they produce fruit and the chances of them falling over when they get fruit and breaking out of the limb is, is very great. So we wanna go ahead and take those off. And this was one right here. We're just gonna cut that off. We're gonna cut as close to this limb as we can uh, in hopes that it doesn't grow back because there's buds around these and you don't want them to, to come back out. There's also some, a limb we call a hanger. Hangers come off the bottoms of the limbs. And the reason we take the hangers off like that one is this limb is growing down. It's going to be shaded by the limbs above it. And the fruit that it does produce will not be as desirable as, as fruit that gets full sun and, and can grow properly. What we want to leave is the side branches that come off. And, and the terminal ends are okay, but uh, what we want to do is kind of remove some of those that's growing up in order to let more sunlight in. And one, the, the key to great fruit production is having a tree open enough where sunlight can come in and get to that fruit and you'll get more sugars in the fruit, you'll get better color, and it's also easier to maintain too as, for us as homeowners. All right, we've also got a big limb right here in the middle, and we're gonna take this limb out. So it's gonna make the cut, and I'll leave that for just a second and let you look at that. The reason we're taking this limb out is because it's shading those below it. And so these are not going to have as good a fruit as we'd like it to have. So we're gonna take that limb out. That's gonna allow more sunlight to get into this tree and this fruit down below is going to be very productive and it's, it's gonna be what we want. Okay, one thing that you can look at now, Chuck's gone through and taken out the, the water sprouts and the hangers and other limbs that, that's in the tree. But one thing I wanted to talk about too was the, the, the way the proximity of the, the way the limbs are on the tree. When, uh, when this gets leaves and apples on it, this limb is actually gonna pull down and, and the weight of the, of the fruit will pull the limb down somewhat. This is a real stiff limb, so it's not gonna pull a whole lot but when that comes down, it also allows more sunlight to come in and that will help color up the fruit some. The other thing that these trees work great for us is, as homeowners, if you're limited in space, uh, you can plant a dwarf tree, just be sure and support it some way. Uh, and, and you don't have the real big, huge tree there. The other thing that I wanted to point out was up here at the top, you can tell where Chuck's gone in and actually cut the top out of that tree. Uh, if you're limited on height, or if you want to be able to do everything from the ground, you can go in and reduce the height of that tree. You cut it back at a 
a limb that is less vigorous growing and it with the, as the nutrients come up the tree, it tends to not make that limb go up as much if you, if you select a tree that's, I mean a limb that's uh, a little less vigorous growing. But this is kind of what you want it to look like. You want it to be shaped sort of like a Christmas tree when you get through with big limbs at the bottom, smaller limbs as you go up the top. And this is a, should be a very, a very good tree to produce quite a few apples on it this year.